Hello everybody, Alistair Down Reviews here and today we're going to be finally reviewing the PXN9 steering wheel and pedals. I do have the shifter but I just don't use it so I'm not going to review something I don't use but it, it does come with it. So um, I've had this, what, easily over a month, easily, but I've been having lots of trouble with it. Um, because the pedals aren't work, the, the first set of pedals didn't work, um, they were faulty, so I had to send for some new ones which took two weeks to come from China, so uh, gotta love that. So um, as you can see we're on American Truck Slim, so I'm going to try to show you how to set it up. So go into options, go into controls. Yeah, keyboard and plus P, X, and 9 up here. Uh, wheel, real automatic, disabled, steering sensitivity quite high because I quite like that. So, you go into input wizard, go into controls, go into steering wheel, real automatic. Now, this is how you set everything up. So, steering axis. Okay. Centered, yes, acceleration. Yep, yeah, so I don't know why it says inverted, I want it normal with no dead zone. Brake, which is the middle pedal. Z rotation, it keeps coming up with inverted, I want it normal. Uh, normal, for some reason it does inverted, I don't know why. And clutch, I don't have a clutch because I'm not using a shifter. Next, next, done. So now I want to go into uh, keys and buttons. So I want to go into where it says, if it wants to say, should say indicators somewhere. Oh, indicator's already on. Okay, nice. Okay, so we are going to um, show you a little snippet, basically. I'm going to show you a little snippet. So I'm driving a Kenworth today. So, drive. Okay, so it feels really, really nice to steer. It's got like a nice kick back to it which I quite like the pedals are quite firm I'll just okay so stop me here the pedals are quite responsive I like so shift up oh yeah you can see okay so it is a red light so can you see pedals are uh, that's the you can use them as gear shifters as well, but I use them as indicators. So I will, if I just pull over a sec. Just want that car to. He's gonna have to go. Come on, car, hurry up. If I just pull in here a sec, I'll show you. So I'll just turn the camera around a sec. So give me a sec. All right. So as you can see, with we know that the red light means it's connected. So up here you got different little, oh sorry, different buttons here. Um, don't know if they do anything. No, they don't do anything on the controls here. You've got your normal PS uh, PS controllers. So you got L1, five L. Well, L1 and LB, you've got, oh, sorry, I don't know why it's so blurry today. G give me a sec. Don't know if that sorted anything, but you, here you've got L3 and LS. 
you've got R3 and RS, R2 and RB, R1 and RB, there, RS, RT, sorry, that one, that's RT, don't know why it's so, don't know why, but you've got your Xbox controllers here, and also out there you got your PlayStation ones where it's labelled X, Y, A and B. No. Oh no, so sorry I got that wrong. So these one these ones that are labelled now on the buttons that PlayStation X, Y, A and B is the Xbox ones. So you can't do anything with that, that's just a sticker. You can actually take the wheel off to change it. So here the rubber, it's quite nice. Um, as as I said, nice and responsive. Just turn the wheel. I have got the sensitive sim sensitivity right up, so it connects to the wheel, which is nice. Uh, under here, I don't know how well you can see it. There, look here. I got it on nine hundred degree rotation at the moment, or you can have it on two seventy degree. So basically, you flick that. And it's a hell of a lot faster. Obviously, I don't want that. So, I flick it back to 900. Obviously, it does something here where it goes clunk. So, as you can see, nice again. So, down here, you got your thingies, little buttons. You've got program, mode, uh, share, or options. So, you, you can connect this to a PlayStation 4. Now, I'm going to do it after this. You can actually connect this to this, but you need a PlayStation 4 controller and a USB cable, not a USB-C, which is the PlayStation 5. I will show you. And yes, I have labeled done that because I've got my specialised bike, which I'm going to review later. I would have done it today. I could do it today, but a little bit miserable weather. Rock shock, obviously, my suspension rock shock. So, like, would I recommend this? Yes, I would. I bought it for 188 on Amazon. Um, took, I think, yeah, it took two weeks to get here because it's from China. Came in a great big box, something like that box there. Came in that box there. Um. But, well, it didn't come in that exact box. That was for my PC, which I will be reviewing later on today. So, get some more content out. So, these are the pedals while I'm out here. So, you've got your acceleration, brake, and your clutch, which is that one there. To hold this in, you've got your nice sturdy um, clamps. You've also got, at the bottom of here, you've got these type of suction cup things which goes goes on the bottom of the unit. Um, I think I've got two on there. One there and one on the other side. I will just show you the connections in a sec. One sec. Move my chair around a sec. So I don't know how well you can see this. So, you've got your USB, USB cable there. You've got your headphone jack there. You've got your pedal jack here, and that, that one there, the next one, is for the gearbox, the steer, um, gear stick, sorry, not the gearbox, that was wrong wording, and if I don't trip over my own headset cable, so if I just get the other pedals a sec, so these ones were the faulty ones. Uh, just wasn't responding to this unit here So I'll use these as spares. So as you can see Even on this one even with it's faulty the pedals are still working as in the motion still working So it's decent um, How can I what can I say decent grab if you're not not grab resistance So it's more realistic, which I quite like you've got these little tags here to stop it from Hitting the plastic and damaging. It's on the back. It's got nothing, as you can see. It's got nothing there. So nice resistant pads. I quite like that. So on the back here, you've also got like a foot plate. If I 
very difficult to undo when you're do holding a phone. Right, so that comes out like that. So obviously you got foot pedal on there, V9. So that comes out like that. That's like a put your foot on. It's actually quite a nice pattern. It's, you, if you go barefoot, it's actually quite nice. I'm not gonna lie. So on the back here, you've got little pads, pads again. So one, two, three on there. One, two, three on the bottom. They're just to try to stop you from the pedals from moving. But as my floor is concrete, um, it doesn't work. Well, it does, but it doesn't. If my foot's on it, it won't. So made in China, do not bend. So, uh, yeah, so that's the pedals, so it folds up quite nicely. So, I will probably use these as spares if I need it. So, there's the pedals, there's that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn the engine off for a sec. No, E, turn the engine off. So, I'm going to quickly head over to my PS5 and I will show you how to connect it. All right, so now I've got it connected. So at the moment, I'm still using the PlayStation 5 controller to log in. Okay. Yes, I've got Train Sim World 3. A video will be out on my main channel soon. I'll probably stream it. So what you want to do, like I showed you earlier, there is a USB cable uh, connection in, in the back. So what you want to do, uh, one's going the right way. Okay, so that is in. Now, yes it is, so USB cable in here. Might, it might charge it a sec. So, push mode. Right. So make sure you get it in properly. Not being funny, this is not the, you know, exact cable, because this one's I think this one's dodgy, this con uh, controller. So it should be charging it. Okay. So it is connected, look. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's this charger or, or this cable. Okay, so it is connected, look. So as you can see, I am controlling a PS5 with a PS4 controller. So what I'll do is load up the crew to a sec and I'll give and I'll be right back. Alright, so after it taking about 10 years to load, I have put a little bit of sound on. So Hopefully with that stationary. Uh, no. So come out of here. So this would just take you into the lobby. Hopefully this works. <laughs> I could try to connect the L. The shifter because it's the crew too. Actually, if I go into make it automatic controls automatic, hopefully, this works. There we go. Oh, hang on. So, you have got to put it into 270 mode. But it does work, as you can see. So yes, you can connect this into a PS5. You just got to have a PS4 controller and a USB cable, not a USB C, which is the PlayStation 5 controller. And it actually handles really well. This is the Mitsubishi Motors rally car. Can we do a donut? Sort of. Not very well though. Okay, so let's just try one thing. 
I don't exactly use the um, shifter, but I'm going to try something. Might as well just do it on video. Just try. I'm going to knock my uh, thingies. Okay, so you can use the shifter, but I'm not too sure if it's going to work. You can try it. And if it wants to slip in, here we go. So connect it like so. It's nice and tight. So make sure you get it into the right holster. Make sure that doesn't go out. Once you hear that click, Okay, so that is now connected. Don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. We're going to give it a darn good go. No, nothing. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Sequential. H shifter. Okay, so it does come up with H shifter, which is good. Test controls. Why is that my pedal so far away? So it's not working. Let me try to get this to work. Throttle, brakes, clutch. Okay, so it is coming up. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start this slow. Whoa, 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 slow, 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 slow. So it does work. So you've got to have it on wild for some reason. Shift it. Oh my god, I'm, I'm not a good driver. Uh, uh first. Damn, wrong gear. Okay, so let's stop here, go into first. Oh, I keep shifting into fifth. Let's just try this one more time and that'll be it for this video. Okay, look. might want to get into first. Actually, let's get into neutral, do a burnout. So you can be, oh my god, I'm actually happy. The crew two has changed for me, easily. Just gotta get, no, that's all. The gearbox must be screaming at me. So it does do six gears, which is nice. Oh my god, see that then? Okay, so, so that is gonna be it for this video. So if you like what I'm doing, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, punch that subscribe button. Would I recommend this? I would, yes, but I've had a lot of trouble personally. But obviously different cases, different people, different models. So there is going to, so I have set it up now to the PS5. So yes, it does work. You do need a PS4 controller though, which didn't they say it wasn't going to work though? I don't know, but I've got my um instagram page linked in linked in the description i've got my facebook which i need to post on i got all all sort of things in the description so make sure you go and check it out so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video which will probably be the ruining of my pc or my headset which i need to do
So see you later, guys. Thank you.